What's up, you guys? If you get this integral as an indefinite integral, then I am sorry. You have no choice but to do trig sub. This is what? This is going to be x. You complete the square, you need minus 4 plus 4. This is x minus 2 square. dx, let x minus 2 equal 2 sine theta. And then dx is going to be 2 cosine theta d theta. So don't forget that. So your we get what 2 sine theta plus 1 times 2 cosine theta d theta but i believe that's just going to cancel out with this yeah and so now you just get what theta minus cosine theta i don't know if this is correct maybe i don't know uh <laughs> I was wrong. I might be wrong. Yeah. I was I was extremely wrong. This is 4 minus x minus 2 squared. So this shouldn't be here. So yeah. And then that would be my answer. With bounds from 0 to 4, now things are a lot nicer. Let u equal 4 minus x. King's rule, hell yeah. This becomes... From 0 to 4, we get 4 of this. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, how on earth do we got here? 4 minus x of the same thing, plus x of the same thing, right? From this original i, right? And the x cancels out. So, our answer is literally just 4 over... Well, this is just we need minus 4 plus 4 alright this cancels out to be 2 it's awesome the 2 cancels or I'm sorry we get 2 inverse sine of x minus 2 over 2 from 0 to 4 and this should be what 2 inverse sine of 1 is pi over 2 that's pi, and then 0, negative, oh, that's crazy. We get 2 pi. So much easier. The definite integral is so much easier than the indefinite integral.